Wow, pull that concrete from a bit higher. Yeah, and no splash, Ken. That's actually splashing into the next village. Give them a shower. <laughs> Can I give you some of those training wheels kiddies they use on bicycles when they're young? I used to hate those because they... And all right, Bjorn. Bad physics is assured. Hey, Grumpy. I'm good, thank you. Yeah, I remember removed mine pretty quickly. Freakazoid, I used to hate them. I missed your sub epic. Uh, no, I saw the resume. I didn't see a message though. Uh, no, Astragon is the publisher, Chippy. Astragon are not a developer, I don't think. I don't know who developed it. Actually, I don't know now you, now you say that. Astragon Entertainment, are they a developer? Or publisher? Happy anniversary. I did with, I did with mine because I took them off, kept falling off, put them back on, decided I hated it, took them off again, and then just rode until I could do it. Gonna go for a shift change at half past four. Are you okay? Okay. Uh, let's see. We've got concrete to pour back at the school. As well as the factory. <laughs> I've already got one poorer. Pop up incoming tomorrow. Two poorer. Have you got two? Yeah. Yeah, Katie's in one and I'm in the other one. Happy anniversary. Right, you need to pour again, Toby. The problem with resetting it like that is the concrete carries this on pouring will... the floor. Yeah, this will get interesting though. Well, you've only got one and a half billion in the bank, can't you afford another one? Well, we've got two apparently. Oh my god, look at this for pouring. Astrocon's probably the most derpy sim publisher ever. <laughs> Oh, you stupid game. You want to try it, scroll? Uh, okay. You're welcome, Grumpy. Yeah, Connor, it does. Just get dark early now.
don't think we can reach that one. Wait, what? How do you know when this is full? Happy There we go. It was obviously missing. Uh, J-Man, thank you for 11 months. It looked like it should have been going in, but it wasn't. I tell you what, in real life, I bet this is a delicate operation. Almost one year, Jamin. Veltenbau were the developers of what of this game? All right, because he. Right, if we call a change over there, please, guys. Sure. Thanks for joining, guys. Hope you had fun. Had fun. Thanks for participating, yeah, guys. If you want to jump down into the lobby, um, we appreciate it. And hope you enjoyed it. I did. I definitely enjoyed it. Glad you built us for the win. <laughs> yeah, thanks for letting us join. Yeah, have fun, guys. Have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. User left your channel. User left your channel. User left your channel. Password changed. Password changed, please call. Um, okay, we'll change oh, it yeah. now. Yeah, I've sent you a second set. User was moved to your channel. Bonsoir, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Hello, we've we got Captain Jack. Hello. Electric Freddy. Hi. And Year of the Chuck, if possible. Uh, I mean, I am. Sorry. <laughs> hey, they all speak too. <laughs> Yay. Could you check your TS messages, Paul? I think you've put the password that you sent me and not the password I sent you. What, you, you've changed it? Yeah, because I accidentally sent the password for this session to the last guys. That was when the whole name change saga was going on. Done. Astro Steve. Thank you for subbing. Thank you. Welcome to Nurse Astro Steve. Okay, guys. Can we give Astro a nutty welcome? Thank you very much for your support. Gyoku, I just made the asterisk more complicated. <laughs> right, so the status is we've got two projects on the go. Um, as soon as we're finished on the concrete at the factory, we need to take... Oh no, there's two mixers. There's two mixers, my bad. So we've, we're working on both at the same time. So I'm at the factory. If we have one other with me, and then two on the school maybe, something like that. Try and finish the school off and then we can get another project. That's pretty good management, isn't it? I'll have um, someone with me and then someone else on the other job. Really decisive, isn't it? Well, what do you want me to say? Stop picking well, people. Well, he used to be decisive well, and now he's yeah, not so sure. It, exactly. It's like, okay, 
Captain Jack, would you care to join me? And Electric Freddy, you and the Chuck, I need you to finish the school. You know, be decisive. I'd be we accused of favouritism then if I started picking people. I could well, do a random know. name checker if you want. <laughs> oh my god. So, shall we do it like we do on the farm? Pardon? Shall we do it like we do on the farm? No, let, why, don't, why don't we um, give Electric Freddy the poor reason for working with Paul and then when he's had enough we'll put Jack in there. Yeah. I like that, when he's had enough of working with Squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. So, Electric Freddy, if you'd be so kind to join Paul at the factory and continue pouring, Jack and you and Chuck. Off to the school, mate, because the young ones want to get in there and start playing. Really, do they? Well, they don't, don't, well, no, I can't say that. Can I? <gasps> they don't want to go to school. I nearly said something wrong. He is, school's for learning. He is plugging the name Sorry. checker, the dirts. I think he's got um, shares in the name checker. Oh man, this is faff. Hang on, stream delay for the win. Shares in the name checker. You what? <laughs> Somebody in chat went, I think he's plugging the name checker again. I said, yeah, you've got shares in it. No, I do not. <laughs> but if you wish to go and check it out, it's that. <laughs> uh, did I miss Eagle Fist? Song? I did. Two months. Hello, Squirrel. How are you doing uh, today? Question, is Time to get dodgy building, Squirrel Ross. And the drywall Thank you, Eagle Fist. Uh, the materials for the school are in a truck out in front of the school, yeah. The factory, no, we don't have the materials for the factory. Okay then, hello, how can I help? Wow, that was quite polite. There you go. See, Paul, see the yeah, people you have in your community that. Hang on, I wasn't ready for him. <laughs> Let me see what he's doing after this. Okay, I'll do this stage and then you can pour concrete on the next stage. Sure. Yeah. Ten percent battery, Jilku. Have you not got one of those like battery pod extender things? Jessica updated his mods for 129. Yeah, now New Mexico's out, I'll basically go, I'll reinstall this Jazzycat stuff. Because I didn't use it last time because it was pre released, but now it's come out. And Jazzycat's updated there for 129, it's worth me using it. WJ with eight months and Trail Junkie. Thank you for subbing Trail Junkie. Welcome to the net house. Can we give Trail Junkie a nutty welcome? Uh, how are you supposed to do this then? Pour from a very high place. Yeah, you see, when you're this close, you can't actually pour it in. Look at this, it's like playing that Hang game. On. Where exactly do we drop the materials off at the school? I think it's on the top floor on the ceiling. Yeah, I might have to crane it up. The truck arm should reach. And it says transport it into the marked area. I don't see a marked area at all. Unless it's exactly where all these pillars are. Ka-ching! Right, there you go, sir. 
I'll move the uh, mixer when I can find it. Right, okay, so where did the mixer go? Did it just reset the concrete mixer? Uh, somebody's in the mixer going down the road. Uh, Jack? Uh, no, this is the other concrete mixer that was left in the middle of our motorway for some reason. But I've turned up at the wrong construction site. Is Jack supposed to be with me? Oh man, it put it back at the home site. Yeah, I'm coming up to you now. I can't believe the game just did that. Uh, yeah, Frontier, you don't normally have to do like 100%. You get most of it done and then it just goes, oh, that'll do. Really? Uh, real tires and sound fixes work. Noise. Well, that'll update automatically the sound fixes that have got it on Steam. Is it possible to upgrade your home site? Uh, no. We've got the biggest one, I think. <coughs> hey, Night Train. How you doing, sir? Hectic work schedule. How's it been going? Not bad. Just back from Prague. Uh, P.O. Box Monsters, Mikey. Normally I do that on Sunday. Unless you specifically want your envelope, if I've got your envelope, that is opening today. Uh, Jack, would you be able to tell me where the uh, marked area is for these materials? I'm just going to look for it now. It's not on the roof. Yeah, and it isn't on the ground either. No, I don't see a marked area anywhere. Uh, can you flip the lid open on the concrete mixer? Ready? There you go. Right, so after that, I think, is the roller job. Yeah, compress, and then after that is transport 10 cubic meters of earth from the gravel plant to the marked Jack, area. Jack, where do you think I should um, leave these uh, items? Well, they, they have to go on the uh, marked area. It's the only place you can put them. 10 cubic meters of earth. For the moving cubic meters of earth, do we need to use a skip? Can anybody remember? It depends as to whether you've got to backfill it or whether you've got to take it away, I think. We've got to bring it here to the site, I think. So yeah, so you need your half pipe truck. There's one down the uh, what? gravel plant already. Oh, yes. Uh, where'd you say, Jack? Uh, W28, you'd be amazed how many people say well, that I, to I streamers. Know, they <laughs> go in the market area, but there isn't one. A streamer will often sit there concentrating and people go, I think I dropped my Are you list. sad? No. <laughs> Maybe I should just put it on the roof. Wait, that's the tip site. I mean, it makes no sense. What you see? No, it doesn't. Earth. Is this the Earth one? Adeldral, three months. Hello, Paul. Thanks for the excite, uh, excellent content. Thank you, Adeldral. How, how do you tell if these things are full? Night train, 17 months. Well, according to Twitch anyway, must have missed a resub somewhere. Back from Prague, huh? Any interesting SCS news in your travels that may have missed? Uh, well, it's all going to be in a video because I was interviewing people. So I need to get editing that next week. Okay. 
Come on. Mm. Why won't this thing move? Yeah, it will, Connor. There's, um, I think I did four or five interviews. And some of them will need, like, uh, bits cutting out for, you know, bits where there were... Sorry, what was the question? You know, kind of stuff, or that, you know, where I was moving the camera. Um, or just, like, it was a little bit boring, or whatever. So there's a lot of editing to do on each interview. Jack, do you want to take this over and try and find... Uh, and I've got to blend it with just general in. footage that I got well, the, the of the office. Well, I think maybe so we have to go I need to do some commentary the and buy them again because it doesn't look like it's confirmed we've bought them. Oh boy. He's still struggling with the school loading site. Yeah, yep. there's just no drop off zone. It says put it in the marked area, and there is no marked area. It did that before. Uh, and it's because the previous stage wasn't done properly or something, even though it says it is. Yeah, what, what we had to do was drive a vehicle, drive the uh, flatbed crane to the materials dealer, and then it'll suddenly go, aha! It's because we pre-bought the materials. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jack, stay there. I'll get another, um, see if there's another, uh, thing. Man, this thing is slow moving. I think the other flatbed's being used by the other, um, construction site. I'll drive back down to the materials dealer and then see what it does. That was his fault. I got brake tested! I've been here for a week, had a bad cold. Uh, it might have been Ebola, Revrad. I don't think it was Ebola. I'm a menace, I love it. You're a menace, Paul. You're a wizard, Harry. You're driving like a real tepid truck driver. Exactly. It's it's Lord of the Jungle. I'm bigger. I have right away. Any news on the Italy DLC? Um, I can't really say at the moment because they've not officially announced anything. Unfortunately. Pacer Train, it's a funny thing about the, the licensing situation. Like, with MAN, MAN seems to be a lot more... Um, like, every manufacturer is different. With MAN, they seem to be a lot more willing to allow their vehicles to be inside of games. And that's why you see MAN trucks in these games. And also because a lot of these sims are done by um, German developers. And MAN's more than happy to um, get behind that. But then you get other companies, like, say, um, Renault... I was talking to Pavel about, you know, why is the why is the Renault Range T not still not out in um, in Eurotruck? And it turns out it's because uh, Volvo owns Renault and the license with Volvo has now lapsed. It was a three year license. So now they've got to go back to square one, renegotiate the Volvo license, which will then allow them to renegotiate the Renault license uh, and until that's done they can't put the range T in the game so basically what happens is the lawyers get involved and it's really really complex stuff like with some manufacturers they're quite happy to have one or two pages of agreement and then with Jack, other, other companies like uh, Volvo they want like 25 page documents yeah if you could 
Whereas Scania, for example, Scania have, have always been a backer of Eurotruck since since uh, Scania truck driving sim. So Scania's get into the game fairly quickly. And that's why the Scania's in, in the Renault Range T, is still not in. It's bizarre. It, it's all legal complexity. Well, I, I think, Eric, the... In theory, Volvo could turn around to them and say, "Take our gate, take our, um, take our trucks out of your game." They could do that, but they're not going to do it. But they could. But because all the other manufacturers are in there, they're not going to do it. They don't want to be the only truck manufacturer that's not in the game. If you see what I mean. Have you uh, sorted out the school now? I still don't see a marker. Alright. Still oh. not. Alright. I've come back and, and even bought more materials and it's... Got what else to try. I'll come over and have a look. Deposit, the deposit zipper is right there if you want to warp over there. Uh, US Volvo. Well, again, Captain Flint, they've... It, the problem with dealing with the US is that, you know, if some Eastern European country, uh, Eastern European game developer turns up and says, hey, we build this like trucking game, could we have your trucks in our game? These US companies really just don't, <laughs> they're not interested that much, they just don't care. Like this this little game, they're, they're more interested in striking deals with big manufacturers and stuff. <clears throat> So it's it's really difficult for them. And like the only way to speak to people, generally the way the way that they get to um the way that they get trucks in the game is by meeting people, meeting the guys that um make the decisions. And you do that by going to things like trucking shows. So to do in America, to meet people in America, you have to fly to America, go to the trucking shows, try and meet the contacts at PACAR or whatever, and then start negotiating. And quite often they'll look at it and go, well, how much are you going to pay us to do this? <laughs> like they want SCS to give them money to use their name. It's, it's like that. Oh, it, it's frustrating. It really is, Spider, for them. It's really frustrating. Because, you know, the fans don't see any of this, so they, you get these people all over the forums going, why is this not in the game yet? Why is it not in the game? And it's all legalities. That's all it is. Like, I think Mercedes-Benz was a... I just realised you're still called Jack. Mercedes got in the game purely by... They had, a, like, an accidental meeting with somebody who just happened to be the guy they needed. And from there, within six months, Mercedes um, got in the game. So it's all about making contact. And it's like Pavel said, with Volvo, you know, he had a contact at Volvo. They set the contract up. Takes his eye off the ball. Two years later, that guy doesn't work at Volvo anymore. So now... <laughs> So when he sends an email to him, it bounces, you know, because that guy's moved on. Now he's got to find who replaced him. Who do I speak to now about the Volvo license? And that's the problem. So they've actually what SCS have done is they've hey, hired Jack, you know they've hired a guy uh, that's going to specialise in licensing. So this guy uh, in the shop, if you will go to the shop, his entire job is to just keep in touch with all the uh, truck manufacturers the, uh, and make sure the licenses are there. outlined in orange. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you get that as well, Murph. That's strange because normally it does show it in orange. Oh yeah, cave ammo. Honestly, yeah, it's like it's registered that we bought the stuff, but it's not being raised the market. The, the things that some of the fans request as well. That actually sounds like you haven't completed a different uh, stage or something. Well, the stage before is about pouring concrete. Yeah, we've done stage eight. So you've come to the materials dealer and bought the insulation and drywall again? Yeah, just to be sure, but it's done nothing. That is weird. 
Well, I, it's an interesting question, oh, Sunsi. I mean, the, you know, they could approach uh, Eastern European manufacturers, couldn't they? Or maybe they should. I'll try driving back to the construction site and seeing if it appears now. It's like, I don't know if I'm missing something or you're missing something. Like, this is weird. It is. There would definitely be a marked area somewhere. We can't just be missing it. Well, I think they've looked for that dogfish. Did they see if the drop-off point was on top of the building? I don't think it is. I'll have a look now. Well, turbo truck are true, but having more trucks in the game can never be a bad thing, can it? Something just went to Chang. Yeah, it was a factory, I think. That's oh. our site. Yeah, it was. I was hoping it was ours. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, look, it's right above us here. Where I am, the cones are right above me. Not for me, they're not. What? Nothing there, no cones. Well, where I am here, with or this flatbed, there's cones above me. No, nothing for me, not at all. Okay. Right above your head, you're the show. Uh, I don't know if you're seeing like weird stuff, but I, I don't okay. know if I'm blind or something. I see nothing. Okay, well let's just move that truck in, because I, I can guess see you it. can see it because you're the host. <laughs> I yeah, guess so. If, if we swap the trucks, then we might have to drop it in for them. Oh, I'll chuck it in. I, I imagine it's right on the edge there. So I'll drop it where I think it is. Weird seeing another jack running around. Yeah, if you just like above my head now, this is where you yeah. will be. Okay. Yeah, I think they can't see it, guys. I think the game's not told them so that like that's a loading area. Your banks and skills are there, boss. Oh yeah. Yeah, I might want to detach the cargo. Oh yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> All right, Audi, have a good one. Uh, Ronald Dansbury, thank you for the resume. Get forward a bit, forward a bit, that's not in. So that the cones start where I'm stood here. So yeah, you need to go forward. That good? That's fine. THU, nine months, something about Twitch Baby, they say. Yeah, that's shown has completed that step now. Just a drywall and then the concrete again. New contracts are available. Multi-family multi dwelling with large patio. 
Modern house, a flat roof, apartment building in the city, warehouse, large townhouse. Get it? I need another foreman. Need you to move out the area now, Paul, please. Okay. Finish a hundred crane missions, King of the Air. Nice. What do you want, guys? High rise apartments or apartments in the city? Which apartment do you want? Your mum just bought you an advent calendar. <laughs> I dare you, I dare you to open 1st of December chocolate and eat it and then cover it back up like nothing's happened. Maybe a special job. Heavy transport. Are they just transportation jobs? Do you want to do the concrete or do you want to do the um the New bridge? Truck? What's this? Uh, I'll do what I'm in now because I'm really bad at this. Oh, let's okay. build a new bridge. I'm going to accept that. Why? Right, how are we doing on the factory? Uh, I've just finished the next stage with the compression thing. It's got to uh, dump some earth now. I did bring one lot of earth. I don't know how much each one can hold them. Yeah, I did notice, thank you. Yeah, one industrial chimney from the steel mill and place it into correct position. Just remember not to dump it all at one point, do a sort of stage dump in multiple places. Yeah, I mined that one earlier. Yeah, it's the, it's the one thing that never bridge or go if you dump the entire 20 cubic metres on one point, it'll only register as like four. Ken Short. 38 months of fantastic content. Great fun place to be. Thank you very much, Kenshaw. Thank you for that. Ugly Stick, thank you for the resume. And into Deco. 12 months hype. Gold cap. Uh, the step on the school, sorry, the factory, requires a industrial chimney from the steel mill. Which particular truck do we need for that? I think it's a trailer that you rent from the steel mill. All oh, right, you just have to go over there then. Yeah, with a low boy truck. Hmm. Why can it go in sideways? Because you're on a slope that it just goes oh, yeah. sideways, it's ridiculous. The physics are ridiculous. Lord Reaper. Uh, just realised this month is my seven month anniversary. Two months of my Twitch baby time to get prepped, I think, for the arrival. About to be a dad. <laughs> Thank you for seven months, Reaper. And the bits. Nine percent done on that one. Okay. Where the heck is the steel mill? There it is. Has Christmas twenty four started in your home, dude? Christmas twenty four has been on since July. <laughs> Mrs. Squirrel's been watching it back to back. Which is the worst physics, this on my summer car? Without a doubt, this.
but the consequences of the physics in this game the, the penalty is almost nil because you can reset stuff in my summer car if you die it's uh oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's pretty bad yeah. why can't we two yeah. hey oh i've two Okay. Yeah, lamppost can be replaced. Look, the way I look at it is if I knock down a lamppost or whatever, that's more work for me because who are they going to ask to come and put a lamppost up? The construction company. Like a glove. Are we going to need a specialist crane or something to lift this uh, chimney element up? Good question. Oh, uh, Jack, Jack, Jack. Jack, we're done. Awesome. I'd assume you could do it with a mobile crane. Yeah, I think it would be the mobile. Mobile crane's got lift and points of two, hasn't it? I don't know if we can get up that high. I'm gonna chat with this guy. Although the crane at the steel mill might be able to. Do you want me to go and pick Pending it up? Pending orders. Oh my god, game, stop lagging. Just gotta go and talk to the foreman now. I'll do that. Yeah, go for it. Place it in the correct position in the loading site. Jules, when are you going to have food? Oh, I don't know, Jules. Sometime between five and six, usually. Where's the actual chimney, then? Is it put it on site, or what? No, it should be round the side of the loading base at the opposite end to where you drove out with the crane, e.g. where you drove in with the truck. Should be a loading bay. The school's finished, GG. Yeah, this is the last step for the warehouse, too. Are we moving onto the bridge now? It's pretty cool. Hmm. Why is there nothing in the loading bay? Uh, Have you rented be... the trailer yet? Hey, what? So if you go back to the bloke that sold you the chimney. So he sold me a chimney but no trailer? I believe so. <laughs> Unless the message on your screen says complete site, I don't know. It just has the same thing that it always had. Pending orders, factory, the warehouse, load one, chimney. Yeah, so if you go to there and then trailers. rental trailers. Then rent the trailer, then go back into that and then you should be able to get the chimney. Yeah, I can see the trailers turned up, but no should chimney Should I just reset all of these vehicles here? And leave one for myself. Silver server T. <coughs> Thank you for subbing Silver Server. Your name's hard I to say, dude. Yeah. But welcome to the night house. Thank you so for your support. So once you've rented the trailer, you will need to go back into the menu and pick buy the trailer, uh, buy the chimney. Okay. Not confusing in the slightest. But oh no, there's a generator. Do you want a flatbed? Is there an option for a flatbed? No, that you have to load it in the box trailer because they do the loading for you. I think. Oh right. Do you want to really want to buy the load it's for the trailer? It's been a while since I played the game, alright? 
<laughs> yeah, I think you're right, Sammy. I think you Mr. Shanburi, thank you for the 100 there. bits. And Corai, thank you for 13 months. And then you go round the corner of the trailer and it should be on there. Yeah, there you go. Fast uh, much. Jack, there's a generator here. What do you want to do about it? Um, should be taken away. Nope. 